Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals. I go out and I go get it. How to code, that's all I know. I don't succeed, then I don't breathe. Success, what does it mean? If I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles, compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles, go take care of your business. Success Chronicles, it's deeper than just winning. Success Chronicles. What's up, everybody? We're here with my guy, Coach Will Compton. Comp, man, it's good to see you uh, at, at Coach's School. Uh, great guy. Uh, we kind of work together, work across from each other, all of those things, learn, and have grown a lot together. Absolutely. And, man, thank you so much for, for coming through and taking the time to hang out with me. Oh, man, for you, anything. Let's for go. You, anything. Let's so, go. You know, it's been, uh, it's been a while, you know, since, you know, you were at Conroe, and then when I got the job at Rudder, and then you were uh, over there as head coach, and mm -hmm. so talked a little bit about the meets and things like that. And yeah. To see how your program has grown is amazing for me. We're just lucky to, lucky to know you. I don't mean that being funny. I mean, for real. <laughs> I, mean, I, had to, I had to look at you for real, like, because he always, he, always, he always catch me. He got the funnies. So I had to look at it for sure to make sure. Oh, man, he for real. He, he really meant for it. Real. For real, for real. Oh, oh and he didn't say it twice. <laughs> if you say it twice, it's for real. It's exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, Comp, man, uh, same sentiments to you, man. Love you. Love your family. Uh, man, you, you do great have done uh, great things for kids man and uh, it's one thing to to see it from the outside and, and see the product that you put out but then it's another thing to be able to work you know hand in hand side by side with you as we do it to, to, to uh, you know positively positively impact kids it's an amazing thing man so talk to us about kind of your, your you know what you do now where you are and then uh, you know, we'll, we'll dive into success after that. Perfect. So I'm the offensive coordinator at Buta Johnson. Mm -hmm. So it's the new high school part of Hayes CISD. Okay. Uh, so we opened up two years ago with just freshmen and sophomores. Uh, going into it now, uh, this season, we'll have our first senior class. Yeah. Uh, we're in 5A Division I. Uh, so we're in there with Dripping Springs and Seguin and Wazos Canyon. Yeah. It's a tough district. Uh, great kids. Uh, work for Steve Hawkins, great boss. Uh, very different from, you know, previous boss bosses work with Coach Rush and different personalities and so you know I'm learning a lot and you know learning a lot of the management skills and, and different ways to approach things and so it's been it's been a blessing and so kids love it uh, Tristan my oldest will be a he'll be a sophomore this year crazy and so uh, I remember him just crazy. running around Oak Ridge as a, as a little one crazy man uh, Levi in the little pre-k yep. school when we yep. first got down there yep. so yep. it's been fun it's, it's been real fun you know opening up something new and, and trying to, to get something started and developing those traditions yeah. Uh, you know, it, that's the when you open up a new school. That's the crazy thing is that you know they don't know anything. You know, as far as your traditions and the way you do things and the way you approach things and the way you approach the weight room and off season mm. and all those stuff things. And so, getting to establish this is how we work from a ground zero base. That's probably been the most rewarding and fun thing about it. Yeah. A lot of challenging things. You know, when you got to you know freshmen, set the parameters, let them know. Freshmen got to play varsity and things like yeah. that just because you yeah. don't have any of the other kids. That, that's a tough part. Of it, but you know the establishing everything has been has been a fun part of it as well. You know, one thing about well, a lot of things I love about you, man. But there's uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, one thing that, that I really admire about you is like you know just seeing you be able to put yourself in situations where you get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and in, the, in the time that I've known you, there's been several cases that you've put you or your family outside of your comfort zone, but it's been to the max benefit of others. Yep. Talk about doing that and how it's beneficial for us to you know, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know, I think that's the, uh, you know, I read something the other day is that you can't grow comfortable. Yeah. And so, and I think that's the, the biggest thing is that, you know, us as professionals and, and what we do, we are always wanting to to get better, to continue to try to, to grow and become a better person, become a better father, husband, all those type of things. Uh, probably the biggest one that we stepped out of our comfort zone is when we brought in uh, Makidra. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, uh, you know, and, and for those that don't know, we brought in, uh, when I was head coach at Rudder, brought in a 16-year-old that played for me. I'd actually removed him from our football team, one of the mm. few kids I actually removed. Uh, 
um, and then brought him into our home, and then he finished out high school with us and moved back to moved to, back to Conroe with us. Uh, finished out his senior season over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I want to go back okay. because I want to I want to make, make this point. Right. Like like a lot of people say that they're about kids and they'll go above and beyond to help kids, but then that's where they stop. A lot of people won't bring those kids into your home. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, man. You said <laughs> so. You said you kicked this kid out of your program, but but then you brought him into your home to raise him as your son. <laughs> exactly. Like, and, and so I wanted to make sure I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, it's exactly but, right. But I know, so I want to make sure I highlight that because, no. man, I think that is amazing. And, and that's how it was, you know. The spring, he was he was going down the wrong path. Yeah. I loved him to death, but he was yeah. a knucklehead, just heading down the wrong path. So he had he had to leave the program. He, he couldn't be a part of it, and so he called me in summer strength and conditioning didn't have anywhere to turn to even though he wasn't part of the program he's, he's calling and asking coach can we talk tomorrow morning and so we talked that talk became going to lunch became going to vacation bible school with the kids uh turned into levi my youngest be asking if you want to spend the night and, you know and then that turns into that turned into two years yeah and you know you're right we we as coaches we all talk about you know we're doing it for the kids we're doing it for the kids you know i'll do anything for kids so sometimes that anything is open up your door you know and it's not always to that extent as far as opening up your door you know sometimes it's taking them out to lunch sometimes it's just yeah. sitting down and talking to them you know having the time for them to listen absolutely yeah you know yeah. Uh, and that's one thing i've learned at the different schools that i've been regardless of social economic status and the type of kids that you have and things like that is that everyone there needs you and you know you think oh man well, they don't have these problems because you know they're a high social economic school no they have the same problem yeah, it, it, it may be it's still absentee fatherism, you know, as far uh, as you know, it, that, that's what they're running into, except for it may be different. It may they're, be because, they're absent because that dad's working, he's working and yeah. he's traveling across the country and he's yeah. doing this and that, as you know, compared to some of the other schools where just dad wasn't there, you yeah. know, and, and that was the case yeah. with Mikey, dad, wasn't, dad wasn't there, yeah. and so you know, you have to step in and fill those roles where where need to be, you know, is it like that for everybody? How it's is it easy? No. Yeah. No, that was literally the hardest thing that me and my wife had done. Because uh, you can't change 15 years of habits in the two months that it took, you know, as far as the summer, what school expectations were, Home behavior expectations, expectations yeah. all those type of things. Like, yeah. No need in your room, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All of that stuff. <laughs> it is, yeah. you know, yeah. and you know, with, with my two kids, it's, you know, it's, we bring them up from the very beginning, it's, it's all the same as far as they're going through. And so, but it's been, uh, it's been interesting. It has. Well, Comp, man, again, I just want to say thanks so much for coming through. I appreciate what you do, and I wish you uh, continued success on, on your journey, my man. Absolutely, man. Same for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm so excited to see you. You know, every time I still got my go get ahead at the house. Yeah, man. And, <laughs> and, so, and then for those of you who don't know, so when we worked at Oak Ridge together, this is it's a little funny story. Is that my daily mission was to get a snap somewhere of Chip just walking down the hall or walking to athletics and sneak up on him and then get him to say go get that, that was like my daily mission uh, and i still have some of those snaps and i mean i laughed at what i'm talking about the other day it was we were outside the weight room and you're sitting there and you're on your phone and you're like in a deep thought and i sneak up on you chip baker one go get it <laughs> So, if y'all ain't, ain't sat down with this guy, y'all need to. He's an amazing person, Thank amazing you, father, husband, uh, incredible motivational guy. So, blessed and all. Man, thank you so much, Cop. Hey, that's why that's why I had to look at you when you said earlier you were serious. I was like, man, see, see, see. <laughs> But, man, good stuff. Hey, thank you guys for checking it out. We'll see you next time. God bless. All right, man. Go get it.